Hello, YTBC. Black Coffee. Peterson Bulldog. Aaron or Tyrone? Why do I say that? Because I had this one out last night when I got home from work. One of these is an Aaron, one of these is a Tyrone. Eh, you know, I'm getting older. So I uh, woke up this morning, and uh, I thought it was January here. My goodness. 28 degrees, hard frost. My goodness. And uh, what's in the pipe? Peterson nightcap, just not for the nights. Good, strong nicotine to start the day. Uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> uh, uh, years ago, right? Years ago. Now, eh, look. Eh. <laughs> anyway, this video is entitled The Fascination. The Fascination. The Fascination with What, Pray Tell? The fascination with pipes. So I'm going to discuss or tell you about my fascination with pipes. This fascination started when I was a little, little boy. Uh, remember the old bubble pipes? They'd be plastic and you'd put uh, bubble liquid in there and you blow them and bubbles would come out soap you know and uh it was like four maybe five and always had the bubble pipe clenched I started clenching back then four or five i didn't realize it seen old photographs four or five with the bubble pipe then I'd buy the, uh, do you remember the licorice pipes? Buy the licorice pipes when I was a little older. Then the, uh, had a little tiny, little tiny, uh, I guess it was a plastic pipe. Someone got me somehow, some way, I don't know if it was with a toy or something, you know, memory. Then I would clench that thing till the plastic broke off. So this fascination with pipes continued with television. Every, every actor, every TV show that had a pipe smoker in the 60s, early 70s, late 60s, early 70s, mid 70s, late 70s as I'm getting older, I'm just fascinated by it. Just fascinated by it. Raymond Burr uh, smoking his occasional cherry wood poker in Perry Mason. Uh, William, William Conrad smoking in, uh, what show was he in? Oh, Cannon. He always had a pipe in Cannon. Uh, Dennis the Menace, his dad and his neighbor uh, Mr. Wilson, always smoking their pipes. So many others. So then, in our travels, and I'll explain this. So one year, we had friends of the family, long, long, long time friends of the family that lived in Welland, Ontario, near Niagara Falls. And they were my... That was my grandmother's childhood friend from Wales. When my grandmother came here at 12 to the United States, her girlfriend came to Welland, Ontario with her family when she was about 13. And they kept in touch. Anyway, we'd stop every other year up there and they would come the opposite year and stay with my grandmother or mom and dad. And the friendship continued, this, that, and the other. So anyway, 
we went to a lake in Canada, uh, right outside of Willow. Now this is not, this is not the wilderness. This is not Timbuktu. It's right on the, uh, I believe it was right on Lake Erie, if I'm not mistaken. You know, very populated area. But anyway, one of the friends of their family took us out on the boat. Anyway, we stopped at his place. This dude was like Mr. Nautical. Mr. Nautical, the whole, the whole lake house, you know, ship's wheels, ship's bells, this, that, the other. So anyway, right? So anyway, uh, he has this guy before we went out or after we come back from the boat ride. This guy must have had 15 pipe racks. Uh, various pipes. I couldn't tell you what brand they are now. I'm probably 12 at the time. You think I was at Santa Claus's Toyland workshop. Or you thought I was at Fort Knox staring at the gold bars. I was mesmerized staring at these pipe racks full of pipe. Uh, several jars of tobacco. Just staring at them. My dad... They're all talking, all the adults. My dad's looking at me like I'm like absolutely nuts. I'm just like, you know, looking at these pipe racks. Or not the pipe racks, but yeah, I guess the pipe racks with the pipes in them. So the fascination continued. The pipe bite, not tongue bite, not tongue bite. The pipe bite was on. One of the great pipers set the hook, and I bit. Now, a couple of years later, I'm at my friend's house. Same thing. His dad had about 15 or 20 pipes, all drugstore pipes. Dr. Grubbo, Yellow Bull, might have been a K. Woody in there. And I would do the same thing. I'm 16, 17 now. Go over there, we'd go to the workshop, talk to his dad, he'd have the pipes, and I would just be mesmerized. And he knew it, and this gentleman became a pipe mentor for me. Because previous video, I told you I went and purchased a Dr. Grobo at one of the now defunct drug stores called Gray Drug Stores, owned by J.C. Penney at the time. Didn't know what the heck I was doing, and uh, he mentored me. Oh yes, yes. Prior to that, prior to that one, I had a corn cob when I was about 16. I think it might have cost a dollar back then for a corn cob bike. Purchased that, but my first briar was a factory made Dr. Cabo. So the fascination, the fascination was always there from TV shows to movies, you know, to visiting people's houses. Uh, Anytime a neighbor in the subdivision would have a pipe going, I would just be amazed. And I knew, uh, even before I purchased uh, the two pipes at a young age, the uh, dollar corn cob and the, uh, the drugstore, uh, when I purchased the pipe at the drugstore, I knew like at eight, nine, 10 years old that I was gonna be a pipe smoker. Now, mind you, uh, I used all kind of tobacco products. 
all kind of tobacco products, cigarellos. Uh, I dipped school in Copenhagen. I think I was a junior in high school and a senior in high school, I dipped. And I uh, chewed leaf tobacco when I went hunting, Levi Garrett, Red Man. Uh, so I tried them all, but uh, my fascination with the pipes, it was always there, always there from a young age. So that's the story. If you're so inclined, uh, leave in the comments uh, when you became interested with pipes. Did you have a passion, a passion for pipes, a fascination, a uh, burning desire to purchase a pipe, to try a pipe? Because uh, I sure did. Oh, and... Uh, I'm a subject jumper. Uh, sorry, my kids always tell me that. So do my coworkers. When I was uh, young smoking the pipe, I would get, you know, made fun of. Ah, you're an old, Morgan, you're an old man, you're an old man. Why are you smoking a pipe, man? Have a cigarette or have a cigarello or, you know, keep dipping. What, what, dipping the snuff? Why are you smoking a pipe? That's what old. Old goobers, old timers uh, smoked the pipe. What are you doing? Yeah, it didn't stop me. I was always an old soul at heart. Uh, I'm sure you could tell that too with uh, many of my interests. Uh, antiques, history, uh, nostalgia, Americana, uh, British Kana. Uh, old radios, old radio shows, uh, film your classic movies, old soul at heart. Anyway, I'm off today, and usually on Thursdays I go to the grocery store and get a few items. You know, I'm not a big grocery shopper. I'm single, live by myself, so uh, I just pick up odds and ends. I eat out a lot. I hate cleaning up. I don't like cooking. Uh, I can cook and I used to cook, but uh, yeah, I just don't care for cooking anymore. To me, it's nothing but a hassle, but I can cook. I can make many, many dishes from chili to stuffed green peppers to ethnic stuffed cabbage make a good meatloaf, but I, I just, I, I don't know. I'm just not into it, can't be bothered. So, go to the grocery store, get some odds and ends, and some other errands. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next episode of St. David's Pipes. <laughs>